just another normal day in the studio, but oh no, what's going on here? The studio is in pieces. It's looking different to normal. Nothing's plugged in. Why is that happening? It's because I'm moving, if you've seen a previous video or two. So yes, this is a bit of a moving vlog to take you behind the scenes. So yes, I have indeed disassembled the studio. I have moved into, well, at least moved my, uh, all the non-studio stuff into the new place. That's very exciting. And now it's time to move the studio stuff. Because basically, if you're moving all your normal household stuff, there's not too many fragile things. I mean, you've got plates and stuff, but uh, and glasses, but that's okay. But nothing super critical, such as all your sound cards and keyboards and, and, and mic preamps and stuff, all of which, and cameras and computers and speakers, all of which you need to be much more careful with. I mean, I have a friend, for example, that when carrying his brand new speakers to his new studio, he sort of poked in that little little hole thing at the top of the tweeter and, and it was broken forever. I mean, he still used it, but it was very frustrating, apparently. Or I, I imagine it was. He, he said it was frustrating and I would agree. I've run out of breath. I'm going to try and do this in one take, just to mix things up, keep things original and fresh in the multiplier studio. So yes, everything is disassembled. I have taken, well, the rest of the house is basically empty, apart from a handful of things which I am currently loading the car with. As you might be able to see down there, you can see I've got uh, some wood, uh, my ski rack, uh, like a, maybe, maybe here you can see. Yes, you can kind of see what a clothes horse, and then to the left of that, you can see I've got my ski rack. So bits and bobs. I also, the cutlery, I forgot to bring the cutlery, which was a, uh, a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, the cutlery's in the car. Don't worry, everybody. The cutlery is in the car. So it's this time to, to do the studio stuff now. So my plan is, well, there's a 0% chance this all fits in the car in two trips. So I'm going to take three. Uh, so I'm going to split it up into non-fragile and fragile. So I'm basically going to use today to take all the non-fragile stuff, stuff like these keyboard stands. Note, I've already bought another one as a test. Um, oh, that was nearly, that was nearly pure chaos. That would have, Actually, luckily that wouldn't have landed on any, anything critical, but I need to be more, less bumpy into things. So yes, I bought a, a second keyboard stand. Uh, I tried, this is the original one. See, it's like a double, a, a double thickness, whereas the new one's a single. The, the, the single sucks. So I've, I've already broken it, it's bent. I need to bend it back to fix it. And it's a bit more wobbly. So yes, that was a, a good experiment, but I, I'm gonna, going to get the, get the double ones instead. Anyway, I'll explain more in detail about that later. So yes, I need to take all the non-fragile stuff today, or at least as much that fits in the car, so stuff like keyboard stands, uh, probably some of the uh, bass traps, sound acoustic treatment. Do you see my video on that? If you're wondering, like, I think I called, it, I called it a video, something like five acoustic treatment myths or misconceptions, or three, some number of audio acoustic words, if you audio acoustic treatment, myths or something like that. Uh, yeah, where I explain all the, the misconceptions about that stuff. Anyway, so yes, that'll go in the car. That's mediumly fragile, but it's the sort of thing, uh, once I have a bed of non-fragile stuff, um, like some older, say, I don't know, some older, less critical stuff. I completely lost my train of thought there. Anyway, that, that was just you experiencing a multiplier loss of train of thought. Anyway, yes, so once I get the non-fragile, maybe I added that out, who knows? So once I have stuff like the keyboard stands and a few boxes, uh, stuff like, so I've got uh, various, like, so this would be a good example, the headphones I've got back in the original box. So that's not actually that fragile. I mean, I wouldn't want to throw it down the stairs, but I mean, you can stick it in the car, put stuff on top of it, not a big deal. And yes, so a, few, a few things are boxed up like that. A few things aren't boxed up. Uh, I've got, um, what if I can even, oh, it's got a hard drive down there, for, for example. Uh, I think I can't really see very easily. Here's an example, down here. So if I open that up, you can see cameras. I need, need to use some bubble wrap or some other thing for bubble wrap down there. Look at this, Back onto it. That's loud, sorry about that. Anyway, so yes, uh, I, I need to, some boxes are non-fragile and some I haven't figured out what to do with it yet, but you get the idea. I'm going to fill the car with as much stuff as possible to make the next few days as easy as possible. Because today is, well, this is, I'm actually filming this obviously before you're watching it, uh, but today is a Sunday and this whole house has to get professionally cleaned, quote unquote, on Wednesday. So I've only got a few days left to do all this. That's a lot of work. Anyway, so yes, I'm going to fill the car with as much stuff as possible. Um, it's kind of, can I give you some more tips? Um, oh yes, I'll, I'll throw in some, some tips. Uh, you can see that I've got some cables in a box and there's actually, you might be able to see a box in between the keyboard. Now this is rogue, but I'm gonna try zooming in mid recording. There you go, that worked. I'm using my telephone today. You can see a box behind the keyboard and that's uh, another box of cables. So because I have so many cables, I mean, there's some cables down there, 
just just a few cables. Um, some cables there, some cables over there, and then behind those two, uh, behind the keyboard and the acoustic treatment, are two cardboard boxes uh, full of cables. So many, many cables, and there's some more cables down there. So I've tried to categorise them into power supplies, and I've also categorised them into USB cables. I think power supplies are behind the keyboard, USB cables over there maybe. And then I've got fragile cables. So these are the most fragile ones, such as XLR, basically microphone cables, anything that's just a bit more fragile, slash probably already broken, given my luck. Uh, not that digital cables aren't fragile, but they're just less fragile than analog. Like digital cables tend to, be, it's quite obvious when a digital cable breaks, whereas if you break the shielding on an analog cable, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it'll break, depending on where it's all bent up. Uh, depending on the cable's lying, and it's just it's a giant headache. It causes intermittent problems, and it's the bane of my entire job. So and there's also cables over there, which are a category that I can't remember, but that's, for whatever reason, these cables I've categorized as different to those. Um, maybe, oh, there you go, soundbar for my TV, which is, uh, I, I did actually transport the TV on moving day. That was the only fragile thing. So I think maybe one of these is for the TV. Anyway, you get the idea. Just try and categorize into fragile and like split up your power cables and also write on them. So you can see down here, for example, I've written like 500 gig SSD on that cable and I've marked up any cable that is remotely similar to any other cable. Uh, just using the sticky labels, which makes your life a million times easier. As I said in another video, it took me five to six hours or so uh, to organize my cables last time and it was a giant headache. Um, so yes, that is the state of, oh, you've seen Cardboard, cardum, cardboard, Adam, cardboard multiplier over there, M multiplier number two. He's folded at the moment. Uh, he's not missing a head, it's just folded away. So I need to transfer that as well. Thought that was best not to show everyone on moving day. Too awkward to explain. Anyway, so, um, oh yeah, my desk as well. Got to disassemble that using screws or just a screwdriver. There are no screws, just little twisty dudes and bubble wrap. That's exciting. And the sun's just come out. Brilliant. So yes, my name is Multiplier. I will probably do either another, this will be a video by itself, I reckon. And then what I'll probably do is, yeah, I'll, I'll do another video. Um, you'll see this probably two days after. The next uh, words are difficult, thinking out loud. What's going on? Who knows? I might have done this entire video in one go. If I left in the bit about me, just losing my train of thought as you do. So yes, there will be, this video probably will go live on Thursday. So I'll probably upload uh, part two on Saturday. Yes, that's two days later. And that I will probably amalgamate possibly the remaining two, three, and if it all goes completely wrong, four trips. But I'll, yeah, I'll make sure I don't need to do that fourth trip. So there'll be one trip today, definitely two more, and then we'll be in the new place. And yes, because it will take me a week or so to get set up at the new place, not only with the studio, um, and very importantly with the studio, obviously, but also just generally moving in. Uh, the next few videos will, of course, be moving vlogs because I enjoy this stuff. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy documenting it because then I can look back on it and that's fun. And also I really enjoy watching people create spaces and moving and just kind of seeing behind the scenes. I like it. So, and then in a few weeks, we'll be back to normal with a whole new, well, there, there are many ideas. In fact, I haven't even hundred percent settled on which room I'll be doing everything in. I kind of have, I have an initial idea, which is very, very different to this space. Um, in fact, yeah, just, just because, why not? Let's, let's give you some, a teaser of, of what is almost certainly going to happen. So the new room that will be my main studio, um, oh yeah, because the whole stand-up concept was a, a total success with my with my initial tests. So I'll oh, bump into the door a bit. Um, the new studio will be, or well, the main studio bit will be a smaller square footage than this, but it'll be entirely standing up. And then what I want to do, so I'll do my Skype sessions, I'll create tracks, I'll create ideas, I'll film videos almost entirely in the main studio, but then I'm going to create a separate work area for doing things like just generally, or just kind of like a different workspace. So one of the problems, uh, I mean, it's a ridiculous first world problem, I suppose, but one of the things I dislike about this space, as great as it is and as big as it is, is I, it's my only workspace in the house. So um, even though I live here by myself, there's nowhere else conducive to work. So I spent my entire existence pretty much apart from weekends in the girlfriend, just literally in the same room, which as great as the room is, and I loved it so much, I would quite like to work in multiple rooms because that's good for the brain. So I'll do various bits of work, whether it's, um, it could be anything from sound design, if I don't need any physical gear, through to editing videos, through to even just emails, um, or the occasional in the door, who knows? I'll do that in a different room. 
um, either in the main room or one of the other rooms at the new place. So yeah, it's a whole new idea. I'm, I'm very, very excited by the new concept, um, but there's various backup plans if for whatever reason, the smaller square footage of the main studio is uh, too small for me to enjoy in the new place. But I don't think that will be the case because um, it's all be stand up and it's, uh, it doesn't have the angly bits. Well, you'll see. Anyway, that's just me thinking out loud or thinking out loud and talking and into the, the, com the computer, the, te the telephone computer known as the iPhone. So, yes, I will catch you guys. The sun's come out. That's brilliant. Now I have to pack, pack a load of stuff up in and drive, drive to, to my new home. I will catch you guys. My name is Multiplier. I will catch you guys on the flippity flip. This video is sponsored by me, my website. As you can see here, I have a whole range of things available from serum presets through to serum tools, samples, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Do check it out. Link below, multiplymusic.com and or subscribe. Thanks for watching.